I mentioned at the end of the last session that in the next few weeks I was going to look at um, translations and how translations work. And it turns out that uh, when I put out the question to uh, the masses on Twitter, that was one of the things that came up. So we're just going to jump right in. Um, now, as an inveterate monoglot, um, despite 16 years or whatever it was of Irish language education, um, I'm really nervous about editing Wikipaid, but bear with me. <laughs> Hopefully I won't make a complete hames of it. Um, but most importantly, we're going to see the different ways in which you can translate from one Wikipedia to another. Um, equally, um, using any tools that are available in the translation tool, we're also going to look at um, how you don't have to translate from an existing version of, a, of an article. You can create a brand new one within the language that you're working in. But then how do you go about connecting up those two language versions so that they have, I suppose, those interwiki links uh, between language Wikipedias and how you do that properly. Okay, so we're going to start off with, I suppose, the most straightforward way um, that you can create um, an article that doesn't exist um, on a language Wikipedia, which is literally just to create it. So I have noticed that on Wikipedia, this is the um, article for um, tennis, but there is no um, there's no counterpart for badminton. And once again, I absolutely promise I am not some kind of <laughs> uh, sheltered badminton player or, you know, desperate um, desires to become a badminton player. For some reason, I've just fallen down a badminton history hole. As baffling to me as it is to anybody else. Um, but what I've noticed is that there's no article on Wikipedia for just the sport badminton. Um, so we can go about creating that on this, on this um, language Wikipedia. Now, to look at the corresponding one, obviously, um, on English, it is, it is very long. Um, and you can also see, I noticed this, so you can see down the side, down the side of the page here, when we have languages, um, we have all the language versions of the article that exist. Um, and you can see here, grey, um, because I've edited in Irish, I've edited Wikipedia before, it's kind of suggesting to me that I might want to create that page. But um, I don't have the skills, the language skills, to do the entire entire article, to write a very long article, even one perhaps as long as the one on tennis. I don't have the skills to do that. But what I can do is I can definitely create a page at Bagminton, um, which is to create a stub, um, and then in the hopes that other people will join in. And what you'll notice is that interestingly there is um, an article on uh, a shuttlecock and what a shuttlecock is, but you can see again Bagminton turns up as a red link. So I've noticed that there's something missing and I'm on Vicka page, so I've gone looking for the article. They said there is no page on this wiki, so I'm going to create, I'm going to click on it, um, and it brings me to, to the new page on Badminton. And I'm going to do a little bit of uh, kind of cheeky copy and pasting because I can just about <laughs> use this sentence, which is, um, it roughly says that, uh, that tennis is a sport that's where, that's played between two um, two players or two teams um, of two players on each side, um, hitting a ball over a, a net on a court on a, on a playing court. So that's roughly what badminton is as well. We'll just actually we'll just change Leroy's ball to um, shuttlecock instead. So I'm going to very cheekily just copy. I'm going to paste this in. It's going to let me. And I apologise wholeheartedly to all Irish speakers as I do this, as it is just, you know, I'm probably absolutely butchering. So I'm going to copy over, so I'm going to say instead of Leroy, I know enough that we're probably going to need a Shebu here. A Hetion. Um, so we need to change this to Badminton. In which we have two players so this is going to be a stub. Um, what I could do is maybe add an image. Um, so I'll add an image. So I need to put in badminton. Let's see if we get something. Thinking about it. Okay, so we just want a generic. Oh, it's interesting. We have the Irish, the Irish international team from 1909. We could add that. Um, I'm just going to add maybe a 
tempted to add the historical picture, I'm not going to lie to you, because at least it's an Irish team. What is the image on the English one? Because that seems like a bit, so it's supposed to be on the London Olympics, that's quite a, quite a good image. So I will go back and I will search for that. It'll find it for me. Excellent. So now the only thing that I have now is that ideally I should edit the so I'm actually going to leave it without a caption rather than trying to mangle that into some form of Irish. I'm just going to leave it without a caption for the, for the moment. So it is an image of of badminton the sport. Um so there we go. That's literally that's literally it. So I'm very much creating a very much bare bones um, article here. Um, I'm going to publish those changes. Let me say, even this is going to be in English, which is dreadful. Um, created in, oh, stop. I'm going to publish this page. And I'm just going to do two little tweaks to it. Uh, I'm going to go to the source editing on Ethion here, and I'm just going to add some of the categories. Um, and also that um, this is a stub, um, which is the seal um, template there. So this is just to make sure that it has a little bit of uh, organisation to it. The default sort here is kind of a curatorial uh, element to Wikipedia. It means that when this article turns up in a category, uh, it gets sorted correctly. So if it's a if it's a if it's a um, biography, you would put the name in backwards so that it gets sorted rather than being sorted by the, the initial of the first name, it gets sorted by the, the surname. So it's just, it's just a little bit of uh, tidying up there. I'm just going to say edit. And just copy and paste that in. Now, so you can see this is an article then that looks and feels roughly like the, the one um, on, um, on the shuttlecock. So that's literally how I can how I can create a new article that has other language editions. And now what I do so that when I look at the article on badminton, that I will get a link to the English language version and um, we use Wikidata. So we did this kind of briefly with um, with Frank Peard, um, but we'll do it again. So I'm on uh, the Wikipedia article for badminton, which I know is uh, is linked to all the other language versions and I go to the tools down the left hand side and I click on wiki data item. So this brings me to the central um, identifying number, the unique Q number for badminton um, across all the language uh, versions and you can see if we put in all entry languages here we'll see all the different ways that it's been translated um, the term and there is actually an Irish word there is so we have badminton here so somebody has translated that um, but if we go right down to the bottom of the Wikidata item, so you can see it's got all its um, statements as to what it is, type of sport, and there's an image demonstrating it, um, what's associated with badminton, so badminton racket, shuttlecock, net, all that kind of thing. There's a commons uh, category and gallery uh, for badminton, so images depicting it. Um, so if we go right down to the bottom, these are all the links to articles about badminton on all of the language wikipedias so you can see all of our language codes here uh, so arabic um, we'll have cubano um, spanish all of them going right down to let's look strong to chinese so i'm going to add i've now created the one on um on, on irish so I go right down to the bottom and the language code for Irish is GA, it's Gaelga. So I'm going to add that and then I just copy Babenton. Oop, pop back. Cop paste it in there and say, yes, we have an article bab called Babenton. I can't add it if the article doesn't exist. So you can't add it kind of as a red link to, Vic to Wikidata. It has to exist. And then I see right at the top, I have my publish publishing so now we have we should have 108 entries here 
I go down GA, there you go, it's turning up for me now. So if I go look at the English version again, if I go back, and now scroll down the side in all of the language versions, now we have Gwedda. It's turning up there. And if I click on it, it'll bring me through to the page to the language version. So literally you don't have to, if you're creating a new article and you know it exists in another language, um, so say if you're writing about a subject you know that comes from a certain country and there's no English language version of it or Irish language version of it, you don't have to necessarily use the existing version of it. You don't have to try and translate from it. Uh, you can create an article absolutely from scratch for um, the language that you are editing in. And um, whilst you can use, so say you're editing on English, you can use non-English references. Generally in a language ed uh, edition Wikipedia, you're usually bringing in resources um, from that language, basically. So ideally when you're editing a page, you would like to be trying to draw in Irish language resources. So, you know, uh, publications from Irish newspapers in Irish about badminton in Ireland, ideally. Um, but it's not, so that's why sometimes some editors prefer to draft a whole new article on a subject from their language rather than maybe translating from a larger, more dominant language over and bringing all those citations with them. So I'll show you what that means and um, what it actually means to use, um, to translate straight from another language. So we'll close Badminton for the moment. We're going to go back to handy old Frank Peart here now for a minute. Um, but what we're going to do first is, so you want, there is a translation tool on Wikipedia. And if you want to use it, um, you just go to your preferences, we'll open this new tab, and we go to beta features. And you can see there's there's all sorts of, um, and again, much like the gadgets that we looked at before, uh, there is documentation for all of these. So if you're curious about what any of these um, beta features do, there's information and kind of discussion on each of them. Uh, and they're just the ways of looking at um, different elements of Wikipedia in different ways. And different language Wikipedias will have um, slightly different tweaked versions of beta features and some will be automatically turned on and others won't, that kind of thing. Um, so what I'm interested in is right down the bottom, it's content translation. So if it's unclicked for you, you just click it. You want to turn on um, this beta feature. And once you have, if you're looking at an article, um, there's two things it'll do. You'll have, um, if you hover over your contributions, you'll get this kind of little drop down, which is contributions translated and uploaded media. But equally, um, when you look, so say if I want to edit this into Irish, you'll say, okay, I want to translate this from English into Irish. Uh, so it gives you this option here. And what it'll do is that based on what other language Wikipedias you have interacted with, you've edited, that'll show up as basically a prompt. And so you see the way Gaelic is, is greyed out. So Frank Peer at the moment only exists in German and English. Um, and because of editing Wikipedia, it's suggesting to me that perhaps I might want to create the article on Frank in Irish. So what does this tool look like? So if we go to translate from English. So what we get is a side by side. Um, it's not, depending on the language that you're translating from and into, uh, not all of the templates, so the info boxes and things like that will always translate over because there may not be a like for like. So there may not be an info box person on the language that you're translating into. So sometimes if we, if we click on, you can see that there's no, there's no info box, so it can't create it for you. Um, but what it can do is, um, what it does is it actually now, so you can see we're already getting a warning saying the template is unavailable. So there isn't a, a there isn't a, an analogous um, info box on Wikipedia. Um, what it does is it uses uh, Google Translate um, now to translate the content for you. If you were, if I was to just, uh, so you can see, if I was just to click all of these and immediately press publish, more than likely that article would be deleted because uh, the quality of machine translation into Irish is not um, not particularly good. So the idea of the machine translation is to give you a prompt or to kind of to um, lower the just the burden um, so that it's it's creating some of the some of the content for you so you don't have to type it all up from scratch. But it's not there so you just go click 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 press publish. Um, 
again, you know, you click all of them and it, it starts translating it for you in but the beauty of it um, from the point of view of the side by side is that you are looking at like it like. Uh, it brings over links for you. Uh, so the fact that this is linked to Susan Devlin, which I think, yes, which would be marked as a missing link. Uh, she doesn't exist on Vicar page either, so it'll come up as a red link. And it also brings over for you the citations. So you don't have to. Now, again, the citations don't always export particularly well, but some of them will and it'll, it'll um, lessen the burden of work for you, basically. Um, and the idea is that you can just you can just type in and start tweaking um, the content as you see it. You can you don't have to save it straight away, um, or you don't have to publish it sorry straight away. Um, you can work this translation can be saved within your translation tool. Uh, it will deprecate. It will grow old after a certain amount of time. And what this means is um, if say somebody else. You can see I'm getting a warning here that the translation contains 100% unmodified text, which is seen, so it's likely to be deleted. So okay, you're already getting a little warning there. Um, but I can keep it in my translation tool. Uh, translation, if it if it's if I don't look at it again within a period of time, it'll get deleted. Uh, equally, if somebody comes along and actually publishes the article on Frank Peard on Wikipedia in the interim, my translation will be will be deleted because it's not needed anymore. Um, we have choices here. We can. Um, once I'm happy with this, you have now, and depending on, so say if you're coming from a different language going on to English and you don't have that, that threshold of edits on English language Wikipedia to allow you to publish a new page, you won't be able to do it. So you'd have to go on to English um, or the other language Wikipedia and build up a few edits before you can publish directly a new page. Um, but here it's allowing me saying, do I want to publish a new page or um, much like the drafts we were talking about before, a personal draft. So I'll end up with, um, in on the Irish platform, Usador, um, Sperky Beck, draft, Frank appeared. So we can look at what that looks like. So we say flight changes. So yeah, rather than it going to Frank appeared as an article on main space on Wikipedia, it's going to go into my personal space. So it means that um, some of the things that I can't edit here so the templates, the citations, as they're just kind of being exported over. Um, if I don't want that to go live on Wikipedia straight away, if I want to be able to tweak that before it goes there, I can publish it into my user space and then work on it from there. So it just kind of gives you a little kind of, if you're somewhat dubious or unsure about the quality of, the, of how the page is going to look when you're finished with it using the translation tool, there is kind of that extra step that you can take before you publish it into the main space. So, you know, you can kind of hold, hold it back. Um, also, whether or not categories uh, hold across, there probably isn't the same level, there probably isn't analogous uh, categories on, on Wikipedia. Um, and again, you probably wouldn't actually translate, say, the titles. You would keep these um, as English because he didn't publish them in the Irish language. So to, to kind of to faux translate them would be um, uh, probably not particularly um, representative. Let's see what the table does. We press so the table has gone over again it's actually not um it's not translating the content it's just brought the table over wholly so you can see it's not perfect but from the point of view of um working through the content a lot of people find this a little bit easier the side by side rather than maybe flicking between tabs or um, having multiple windows that kind of thing they just find this a little bit easier so if I go, if I just tab back, you can see now, I only ever demonstrate the tool. I very rarely use it, not, not having, um, not having good, lang you know, good language skills myself, but you can see that um, it's showing me when the last time I edited any of these um, and the progress that I've made through the article. So how much of the article I've actually managed to, to translate and that's probably showing, I mean, that's just me clicking on the automatic translation, it's not actually going in and editing it. So it's, you know, it's not necessarily representative. Um, but you can see you can, so if we go to a new translation, um, we can change up where we're, the languages that we're going from and what language we're going into. Um, so I'm going to say new language. So you can see it's prompting me, it's saying, so this is an article that I created last night, it's missing. In Irish, so in Gaelga, so that's an article we might want to might want to change. So those are the, the two 
the two main ways that you can um, create content between um, between Wikipedia is you can see that you know, kind of each way has its pluses and its minuses, its pros and its cons, um, and it really is up to you what kind of workflow and um, what kind of level of of translation uh, that you want to go for. To be honest, as an editor, generally, it's that I'm finding that I'm creating articles on English and they already exist on other languages. So I'm going into Wikidata and that's that's where I'm um, that's where I'm collecting up those those articles there. Um, I would rarely create an article from another language on the translation tool. Sometimes what I might do is um, I have a little bit of German, but not particularly confident. So say with the Frank period one, I might run it through Google Chrome and perhaps see what information they're including on him and then see if I can include it in the English language version and find the citations to back it up or perhaps use the same citation that they've used um, in their language version. Um, so if you have higher language school skills, definitely the translation tool is, is more useful. If you're more creating articles independent of the other language version that exists, and uh, then probably creating the article, I suppose, separately uh, on the language edition that you're working on is probably more straightforward in that way. So I hope that that, um... oh very good, <laughs> fantastic. Ah, somebody just created, the... okay, good old Nicholas. So if we take a look at badminton again, so you can see at the moment, um, category is red, which means it doesn't exist. So just as you can create um, articles, you can create categories as well. Um, now there are, there are conventions as to how categories get created and how they get renamed and all that kind of thing. And, and on larger Wikipedias like English, it's, it's quite a process. Um, and there tends to be kind of, um, you know, you, you propose um, categories for creation and there'll be a discussion as to um, the syntax that'll be used and things like that. But you can see on the Irish version, we, somebody has flagged that badminton should probably be a category. So it's already, it already exists on, on the badminton page now. Um, and if we go back to Shuttlecock, it exists here. But what Nicholas has just done is created the category for badminton. So now it's not red anymore. So if we click on it, we now have two articles. So the reason the category hadn't been created is that there was pro actually, I know for a fact that there's another article that's going to be, that's going to be, um, so another bit of work that I'll be doing now is that there are, so there is a tournament that has been, so what we can do, now we'll see if Hotcat works on the Vicar page, shall we? So we'll go to, no, we don't have any gadgets. So it doesn't look like I can use Hotcat. I have learned something, Hotcat does not exist on Vicar page. Yeah, we're all learning something today. So I have to add, if I want to add a category, uh, to this, I need to do it through source because um, we couldn't do it through Hotcat. So if we go back to badminton here, so I'm going to edit source. I'm going to grab this category. So this is a badminton tournament or game that happened. I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom. It already has one category. I'm going to add a second one of badminton. I'm going to say added. Could it change us? The name. Yeah, we have three. Three things in the badminton category. <laughs> I think if anything that's definitely a victory for today. Um, so I think that's really everything for... yes I know there's, a, there's lots of gadgets missing from Vicar page unfortunately. Um, it is one of the things we are going to be running... this is going to be my little... Um, actually do you know what? Just... If you are interested in Wikipedia, the Irish language, uh, learning more about all of the above. Um, we will be running the Celtic Knot Conference uh, virtually from the Hunt Museum. Um, we'll all be virtually congregating in the Hunt Museum um, on around the 9th and the 10th of July. The events will probably go week long um, to kind of spread the joy and also to spread the, the burden of how many Zoom calls people can endure within a short period of time. Um, but if you were interested in, in not just Irish, but any minority language Wikipedia, um, so the Celtic Knot was kind of based around, kind of came out of Scots Gaelic, but also Welsh, um, uh, Breton, Sa Northern Sami, um, and um, Irish, a, a cluster of other languages. So if you were interested in learning more about um, minority language Wikipedias, 
and um, the kind of tools they're using. So one of the things that we're hoping to do with it is perhaps get Irish language speakers and writers editing Vicar Page more. And the more people we have editing it, the more likely you're going to get those kind of gadgets turned on. Um, because they do require a certain amount of maintenance. So there is kind of a, a threshold. So what we really need is more people having meaningful interaction with Vicar Page. And that means that we can then put more effort into creating and maintaining tools uh, and those kind of templates, the info boxes and things like that to improve the editing experience on Vicar Page. Uh, so if you've been interested in that, the call for papers is still open, um, but equally mark the date in your diary. Um, it should be a really interesting and fascinating, um, fascinating week. Um, I'd love to get lots of um, Irish people involved in it. Um, I think there's an awful lot that we can learn uh, about the importance of Vicar Page, but equally, you know, if this, if our, our social distancing continues uh, into the future, it's definitely, if you're interested in keeping up your cupola fuckle, um, the fact that me, uh, <laughs> I was able to make, have a bit of a stab at creating an article, that means that there's something else there for somebody to build on, um, to somebody to go in and to tweak that sentence for me to, to make sure that I've used the right shavu, uh, <laughs> which I'm not confident that I have. Um, it could be an N comma, I'm not entirely sure, or an N dash. But it it's 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 quite a friendly platform. So if it's something that you're doing, if you're on your Duolingo, if you're already kind of um, dabbling with a, another language, making these little small edits where you feel you can make a meaningful contribution without, you know, making an absolute um, mess of it. Um, if it's kind of manageable, like if, if you know for a fact that you can edit the caption of this image so that it reflects the English language caption, that would be fantastic. And that's an easy edit that can be made to a page. Um, and you could do that in Commons as well. You can add uh, translations of captions to Commons and that's probably what we'll do in the next in the next session. I've left myself a little bit of fodder for that one. Um, so I highly encourage you to look into it if it's something that you even have kind of a passing interest in, in, in getting involved with. So on that note, uh, I will leave you for today um, and I will be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. Um, where we will look at how to edit captions and perhaps some of the more um, so if you know creating an article is just too intimidating for you it's a bit too much work um, the other smaller edits that we can make that will add uh, quality content and uh, more Irish language and other minority language content to to Wikipedia would be great I will see you at, at, uh, soon Nicholas thanks very much um, so I will see you soon take care bye